green anaconda 26 feet long and weighing over 500 kilograms has been discovered. This may be one of the largest in existence. Let's explore. This is the Amazon rainforest, a natural laboratory for studying diversity and speciation. It is also a well-known hotspot for conservation efforts. A group of local indigenous Warani hunters in the Ecuadorian Amazon invited Professor Brian and his team from the University of Queensland on a 10-day expedition to explore the region and collect samples from a population of anacondas rumored to be one of the largest in existence. The northern green anaconda was documented in the Bameno region in the Ecuadorian Amazon and the results were shared in a research paper published in MDPI Diversity. The team surveyed anacondas from various locations throughout the range of Unecta species in South America. While collecting demographic and ecological data they also collected tissues and blood samples from each specimen. Genomic DNA was extracted and a process called polymerase chain reaction was used to amplify portions of mitochondrial genes for cytochrome B, NADH, dehydrogenase subunit 2 and subunit 4. And then DNA sequencing was carried out to read the sequence of nucleotide bases in the small targeted regions of the genome. Each set of gene sequences were then aligned and phylogenetic analyses were conducted and the genetic divergence was calculated. The results were surprising. The northern green anacondas and the southern green anacondas have long been considered as part of the same species. But only on the basis of this mitochondrial DNA study it has now been established that these two are two genetically distinct species. According to Professor Brian Fry, the northern and southern green anacondas diverged in the Miocene period nearly 10 million years ago and differed genetically by 5.5%. 5.5% is a quite significant difference. To put it in perspective, humans differ from chimpanzees by only about 2%. So, what happened around 10 million years ago that separated the green anacondas into its two different species? Available data indicate that around 10 million years ago, there was an episode of tectonic uplift that formed the Valpis Arch that completely separated the western Amazon and Janos basins. The rise of the Valpes Arch divided the basin of Amazon from the headwaters of the Orinoco River for the first time. The rise of this arch occurred almost synchronously to the split of these clades, so this was likely the event that separated these two species. However, the current distribution of the northern green anacondas is far south of the Valpes Arch all the way to the Yusini National Park in the Ecuadorian Amazon. This is due to sedimentation that changed the current topology of the region. Even though the northern green anacondas and southern green anacondas are two genetically distinct species, they are morphologically indistinguishable. They look just the same. The high level of genetic divergence and geographic separation justifies the recognition of the northern population as a distinct species. Therefore, the team proposed a scientific name, Eunectus agaima, and the common name, Northern Green Anaconda. The word agaima comes from several indigenous languages of northern South America and it means a great snake. I hope this video was helpful, so keep watching The Vital Cube. I'll see you next time.